Hi, everybody. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to Cornell and to the Department of Communication, arguably the best major on campus. My name is Poppy Cloud, and I'm the chair of the Department of Communication. And because of that role, I'm not teaching very much right now, but I have a lot of undergraduate students involved in doing independent research in my group and interpersonal research lab, where we study all things having to do with communication and decision-making in groups, teamwork, how do people learn to work in teams, how do people work in virtual teams, how uh, teams influence people's decisions on important societal topics like environmental protection and so forth. So if any of those kinds of things are of interest to you, teamwork, hit me up, check out my website and uh, let me know. I'd love to talk to you about the possibility of doing some independent research with us. Meanwhile, I look forward to the opportunity to meeting each one of you in person as soon as that's possible. But meantime, welcome to our department. I'm so delighted you're here and I'm sure you're going to be very happy with the best major on campus. Hi, my name is Drew Margolin. In addition to being the Director of Undergraduate Studies, I also teach Communication and Technology, a sophomore level course, one of our focus area courses, as well as an upper level course called Social Networks and Social Capital, which I hope to see you in uh, when you're a more advanced student. My research is in what we call computational communication science. That's a fancy word for saying download data from Twitter, Reddit, Yelp, wherever, and try analyze that data using computers to try to observe and understand patterns that we can't see with the naked eye. Hi, I'm Professor Lee Humphreys. I uh, have been in the department 12 years as a faculty member, but before that, I um, was a student here. I'm an alum, uh, class of 1999. I graduated from the communication department here at Cornell. Um, so I have a special place in my heart for undergraduate students, having been one myself. Uh, I teach media communication, COM 2200. Um, my own research looks at mobile and social media, so it's a very fun and ever-evolving topic. Uh, I am also the director of our new CUP peer mentorship program. So CUP stands for the Calm Unity Project. And this is a program specifically meant for Black, Latinx, Native American, and first-gen students here at, um, in the Calm department at Cornell. And so I am just super excited about that initiative. And my advice is to go to office hours of faculty. It might be online, but it's a great chance to get to know faculty more intimately and for them to get to know you. Good luck and have a great start at Cornell. Hi, my name is Katherine McComas and I'm a professor in the comm department. I've been on the faculty for about 17 years. My teaching and research is around risk and environmental communication. I'm also serving as the university's vice provost for engagement and land grant affairs. So you might not see me so much in the classroom. I'd love to encourage you to take advantage of Cornell in every single way. And I'm gonna ask you to go and Google engaged Cornell to find out all the different ways that you can become involved with courses and experiences that take you outside of the classroom to, well, when the pandemic allows it, to work with community members to solve real world problems. And that's an area that I work with a lot at the university. I look forward to seeing you here in Ithaca, um, either this semester or when you're able to come. And I wish you all the best of a start to your new year. Hi, I'm Sahara Byrne, and I am going to be teaching you an introduction to communication, which I know I'll see most of you. I'm really honored and excited to have all of you in that class, and I look forward to the first week of classes. I also am the director of the Cornell Center for Social Sciences here at Cornell. And a fun fact about me is that I really like to fix stuff. I grew up fixing old cars with my dad and I still continue it. I like to do, I like to install garbage disposals, which I need to do in this house. Um, I also have a vintage stove that's right over there that I'm about to install a new pilot light and a thermocouple into it. That's my job, that's my um, project before I uh, see you all on um, the first week of classes. And I also fix up a very old sailboat, which you can see right out there. Uh, hi everyone, welcome to Cornell. 
Um, my name is Connie Yuan. I have been teaching at Cornell for 16 years. I was born and grew up in uh, China, uh, the capital city of uh, China. Uh, after I finished my bachelor degree in English and American literature, I came to the U.S. for my graduate education. Uh, 2004, I got my degree from uh, my doctoral degree from the University of Southern California, and then uh, came to Cornell right after. I teach and research in the areas of organizational communication and intercultural communication. I hope to see many of you in your junior or senior year. Uh, when I first came to Cornell, I actually wasn't sure that I would stay here for a really long time because I have always lived in big cities. But now 16 years have passed by like a blink. Uh, Ithaca is a small place, but it's beautiful and has a lot to offer to everyone. Uh, I hope you will enjoy Ithaca and you, you will enjoy Cornell as much as I do. Uh, once again, welcome to Cornell. Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Stevenson Wan and I'm going into my fifth year at Cornell. I came here from California, so I love the beautiful changing weather of Ithaca and all, all of the rural things about living here. Uh, I hope to see you all here soon, uh, but in the meantime, um, for those of you that are connecting remotely, I want to say um, reach out to us um, and come to our office hours virtually, even if we can't meet in person, um, but we'll look forward to meeting in person soon. Um, about me, I'm the director of the Virtual Embodiment Lab. Um, I won't be teaching classes this fall, but I'll be teaching a class in the spring that's kind of about my research uh, interests. It's called Communication and Virtual Worlds. So I'm really interested in how um, people can use virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality um, for educational uses, for therapeutic uses, and just broadly how um, seeing your actions represented in a virtual environment can change your perceptions of yourself and of other people. Hello everyone, welcome to Carmel. I'm Natalie Bazarova, an Associate Professor of Communication and Director of Social Media Lab, where we study how people live, learn, work, and build connections via technology. Topics whose importance we acutely feel this year as we rely on technology for all or most of our connections. I teach research methods in the fall and personal relationships and technology in the spring. This year has been like no other year and it calls us to rise to challenges and embrace new opportunities as we discover them en route. As we embark on this journey, I'd like to remind us the words of Robert Frost, who said that the best way out is all we through. Let's take inspiration from these words, lean on each other, and go all the way through with our journey this unusual year. Hi, my name is Lauren Chambliss. I'm a senior lecturer in the department. I teach COM 2310, uh, which is the fundamental writing course for the major, a core requirement. So I will meet most of you during your time here. I came from a private sector background. I was a journalist for 22 years. So I've come to academia in the second part of my uh, professional life because I absolutely love to teach. Almost all the courses I teach have something to do with building skills uh, for the communications profession or to communicate generally. Uh, my one piece of advice to you is to don't set your uh, self in stone your first year. Take your time to explore and to figure out what you're truly passionate about. I didn't figure out I wanted to be a journalist until the start of my second semester. In terms of fun facts about me, I love my dog and I love hiking. If you want any information about Ithaca area trails, please feel free to reach out to me. I've hiked on most of them and gotten lost on several. Good luck this semester. Hi everybody. My name is Christopher Byrne. I am a lecturer in the department. I teach writing and producing the narrative in digital media, COM 3010, as well as connecting experience creating a personal brand and implementing an ePortfolio, which is COM 3060. 
I also am the faculty advisor for the Media Guild, which includes WVBR, our radio station, WVBR.com, and Electric Buffalo Records, our record label. So if you are interested in that, I would love to talk to you about that, as well as uh, any podcast ideas you have. I have produced several podcasts, and um, I'm always interested in talking to students about their ideas around that. Fun fact about me, during COVID, I never cut my hair. <laughs> and I'm from the city of champions, Boston, Massachusetts. Welcome. Hello, Jody Cohen here. I teach and I direct the oral communication course here at Cornell. I have been a student of communication for 48 years. My perspective is a critical perspective. I'm interested in persuasion. Specifically, I'm interested in political messages and I make judgments about those messages. I judge whether a message is truthful, ethical, and whether or not it's effective as well as what the general social impact might be. Obviously, I'm interested in political speeches, but you find a lot of beliefs, attitudes, and values are moved or changed through popular culture, music, memes, and movies. I love them. Please come by and talk to me. I'm sure we can find a similar interest. But a warning, I often ruin your favorite film by showing you little parts of it there that you didn't know were there. But please come by and welcome to the Cornell Department of Communication. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Dawn Trader, Associate Professor of Communication Ethics and Moral Psychology. I want to tell you about the courses that I teach and my research interests and hope that I'll be able to meet you sometime when we are either virtually or in real life together in classes. So I teach three classes, two at the undergraduate level and one graduate seminar. My undergrad courses are 4300, Ethics in New Media and Technology, 4350, which is Communicating Leadership and Ethics, and 6710 is my graduate course called Revolutions of the Mind, How Technology Changes the Way We Think. So I hope to see you in one of them or all of them as you go through your career at Cornell. My research interests are in the area of moral psychology. So I'm interested primarily in the relationship between moral judgment, moral action, and metacognitive awareness. So how it is that the way we think may affect the, the kinds of ways that we develop in our moral reasoning processes and in the kinds of actions that we take. So I'm interested in areas of privacy psychology. I'm interested in looking at how new and emerging technologies are utilizing conceptualizations of ethics and also taking into consideration the psychology of individuals who are using that technology. And thirdly, I'm interested in professional development. So how is it that you as a professional are utilizing ethics in your everyday decision making and in your everyday life? So welcome to Cornell. I hope to see you and I wish you all the best of luck in all of your classes, all of your relationships, and all of your future endeavors here. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Niederdeppe and I have been here at Cornell University in the Department of Communication for 12 years, which feels like an eternity. Uh, I teach uh, two undergraduate courses and both are at the upper, upper level, uh, COM 3760, which is called Planning Communication Campaigns, and COM 4760, which is Population Health Communication. Uh, as you might have uh, guessed from uh, the courses I teach, my research interests are in health uh, health campaigns, uh, and I try to understand how people make sense of health-related information uh, in the media and what impact that has on their behaviors, on our communities, uh, and on the policies that our elected officials uh, choose for us uh, and as they pertain to health. Uh, I co-direct the Cornell Center for Health Equity and I direct the Health Communication Research Initiative, uh, which is uh, related to my work uh, and that of several colleagues in the department, 
uh, in, in the department itself. Uh, finally, I was asked to give a recommendation for students starting uh, college remotely. I guess I would uh, say this, uh, try to treat uh, Zoom meetings as you would uh, a normal in-person uh, activity. So, you know, get dressed, uh, brush your teeth, uh, do all of the things that you would normally do uh, before going to class. Uh, it'll put you in a frame of mind uh, for learning uh, that I think will be helpful to uh, cope with uh, all of the challenges we're all facing. Uh, so it's a pleasure to meet you all, and I look forward to seeing you in my courses uh, down the line. Hello, everyone. My name is Catherine Sender, and I'm a professor here in the Department of Communication. My areas of uh, study are media and sexuality, and I teach courses in television studies, and uh, I also think about new media and marketing, and uh, I'm looking at LGBTQ representations in part um, and cultures of production and I'm also interested in other forms of sexuality and sexual commerce such as um, sex museums which is one of my research projects right now. So uh, I teach undergraduate and graduate courses uh, and I also um, am interested in working with research assistants on different kinds of projects. So uh, I wish you a very happy beginning to your semester and um, I'm looking forward to meeting you. Hello and welcome. I am Brooke Erin Duffy. I am an associate professor in the Department of Communication um, and I joined the department in 2016 after spending well over a decade in Philadelphia. Um, in addition to my appointment in communication, I also hold a faculty appointment in feminist gender and sexuality studies. In terms of my teaching, there are two undergraduate classes I've been teaching over the past few years. The the first is COM3200. It's a large intermediate seminar uh, where we explore how digital, mobile, and social media are, are reconfiguring social, political, and economic life. So that, that course keeps me on my toes. Um, I also teach a small upper level seminar on gender and media, which I'm gearing to teach for, I think, the third or fourth time um, in about two weeks. Um, and I am involved in a number of research projects which are at the intersection of gender, social media, and work and labor. And I've had a number of undergraduates uh, work with me but also provide a lot of insight. So I look forward to learning from you and meeting you in the months and years ahead. Welcome to Cornell. Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Lewinstein. I'm a professor of science communication here at Cornell. Science communication covers things like science journalism, science in museums, public health communication. And if you can't figure out why that's important at this point in our world, I'm not sure there's too much I'm going to be able to do to help you. Um, I teach courses in science journalism, uh, look courses in looking at current issues and thinking about public communication of science and technology. I'm hoping in a year or two to introduce a new course on science communication in a diverse world. Uh, there's a whole range of things. I'm also part of a university-wide science communication and public engagement minor uh, that some of you might be interested in. I have the Golden Gate Bridge behind me in this uh, virtual background because I'm originally from California. You know, even those of us from California, we find we can survive the weather in Ithaca. It's not really that bad. As you enter this new strange online world uh, of under, uh, undergraduate education, uh, my advice for you, some of you will be here in person, so not entirely online. Uh, my advice for you too is to not forget the social aspect of uh, being a college student. Use all the opportunities there are for getting together in small groups, creating online uh, virtual gatherings and so on. If you happen to find other uh, Cornelians near you, uh, living physically near you, maybe in a properly socially distanced, uh, uh, masks six feet apart, to wash your hands afterwards kind of way. But with all those precautions, uh, I'd encourage you to maybe get together and get to know each other in person. So it's nice to meet you and I look forward to meeting you in person. Hi, I'm Mike Shapiro. I grew up in Detroit, but I've been at Cornell more than 30 years. 
I'm a professor and I teach the 4,000 level psychology of entertainment media course, as well as a graduate course in advanced theory. My research focuses on how people mentally process stories, whether those stories are aimed at entertainment or persuasion. As for any advice I can give you, our department is one of the most innovative communication departments in the world, but it's also one of the most supportive for students. Get involved, and if you have a problem, no matter what kind of problem, we'll help. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Danielle Eisman, and I am a visiting lecturer in the Department of Communication. I've been at Cornell since 2017, and this is my second year teaching in COM. This fall, I will be teaching COM 3020, which is Science Writing for Media, and Risk Communication, which is COM 4860. Uh, I really enjoy researching sustainable consumption and consumer behavior, so I've done a lot of research on um, how people demonstrate how environmentally friendly they are. Um, I also collaborate a lot with the Emergent Climate Risk Lab and uh, also do some work with people in SEPA, the Institute for Public Affairs, as well as Natural Resources. Uh, my recommendations to you all starting the semester, possibly remotely, is uh, try to find some joy in this experience. You might find something unexpected and wonderful in the way that we all interact in this new learning environment. Um, and a fun fact about me is I used to be a professional chef. So I've worked in a lot of uh, fine dining restaurants at um, as well as hotels and resorts across the United States. Hello, my name is Neil Lewis Jr. and I'm an assistant professor in the department. This is my fourth year on the faculty, but I'm also a Cornell alum, so collectively this is my eighth year in Ithaca. Um, at the undergraduate level, I teach courses in the Communication and Social Influence concentration. Um, I've taught the intro course for that area, Persuasion and Social Influence, as well as an upper level course on behavioral science interventions. Uh, the reason I like to teach those courses is because they align perfectly with my areas of research expertise. I direct the Motivation and Goal Pursuit Lab in the department where we study the psychology of communication and why different messages motivate different audiences, as well as how to use those insights to develop interventions to improve various outcomes in the world, with a particular focus on education, health, and environmental outcomes. Welcome to Cornell, and I look forward to meeting and working with you all in the years to come. Oh, hello. I'm Nathan Matias, an assistant professor starting my second year at Cornell, where I lead CAT Lab, the Citizens and Technology Lab. I teach communication and technology with Professor Marg Olin and a spring course on the design and ethics of behavioral experiments, where teams collaborate to design field experiments with community partners. As a Guatemalan American, my ancestors are the Mam Indians of the Western Highlands of Guatemala. I grew up in Pennsylvania and lived and worked in UK tech startups for years in Ithaca. And I'm so excited to welcome you here to Ithaca or welcome those of you who are joining us remotely. I especially love the community, which is something we can share wherever we are. I also love the landscape and the fresh produce. Right now I'm cooking from Maricel Tresilla's Gran Cochina Latina while also enjoying a few American classics. See you in class. Hi, everybody. Welcome new students to the Department of Communication. My name is Jonathan Schultz. I'm an associate professor here, um, and this will be my ninth year teaching courses um, in the department. I'm originally from a small town called Lyons, New York, which is just 50 miles north of Ithaca. And it's hard to believe, but it was exactly 20 years ago that I arrived um, to Ithaca to begin my uh, first year as a, as a Cornell undergraduate. Uh, in the department, I teach courses on public opinion, survey research, and I offer an environmental communication seminar at the graduate level. Elsewhere on campus, I'm currently the faculty in residence at Clara Dixon Hall on North Campus. So if these were normal times, you might see me uh, pushing around a stroller, walking my dog, um, but hopefully we'll return to normal times soon enough and I'll get to see many of you in person. Um, for new students, I guess my advice would be to reach out early and often to your professors and your advisor. It's always good advice, but I think it's especially important um, during these times. Welcome, and I hope to see you all soon in person. 
Hi, I'm Professor Diane Bailey. I came here from Texas one year ago. Between you and me, I was a little afraid about the winter, but it was wonderful not to worry. I'll be teaching two classes in the spring. COM 1300 is a required course course that's meant to help us understand visual communication. I'm excited and I hope you will be too. COM 3350, presenting information visually, is an upper level elective. In it, we'll learn how to apply the science of perception and cognition to the design of information artifacts. I study technology and work, including artificial intelligence and visualization technologies. If that sounds interesting to you, please contact me. Welcome to Cornell, and I hope to see you soon.